Hello everyone, welcome to Zahid Stata Mining channel once again. Today I'm going to present uh, or show you a software that can impute missing values or missing data from a data set. Now what is missing values? Uh, missing values is sometime in a data set you may have some values missing for whatever reason sometime it can happen because survey questions were not answered by the survey participants or your data collection uh, sensors or tools did not work properly. Now why is it important to impute missing values? It, this has been shown in the in the literature in research that if you have a data set with lots of missing data in it then if you apply any data mining algorithms on it for say discover knowledge pattern uh, logic rules and for uh, future prediction then generally your prediction accuracy or quality of the discovered knowledge may not be as good as if there were no missing data there now how to impute missing data that's that's why important to know let us assume that this is our data set uh, you can see this data set here and it has many records in it um, only few it's a toy toy data set these are the records and these are the values in each record so for example first records first value is ms second value is 85 and the third value is l whereas the second records first value is phd 145 and p what are they uh, this data set uh, is this file is in .arff format which is uh, the format that you need for any data set uh, to be run in Weka which is a publicly available free download software so and in this format the, it actually explains what are the values say for example at relation job that means the name of the file is job or the data set is job at attribute degree that means the first attribute is degree and possible values are ms or phd and at second attribute is salary it's a numeric value that's why you can say 85 145 it can be any numeric value and the third attribute is class which is l and p which is in this case we are assuming lecturer or professor so now there are quite a few academics here uh, each record represents an academic now if we have this data set here there is no value missing but sometime when you collect data then some of the values could be missing say for example this is your data set that you have on hand and in this data set you can see that the first value of the second record is missing so if that is the case in that case I'm assuming that you don't know the value original value which is PhD for the second record second academic say for example you don't know that uh, uh, value and then in this video in this uh, uh, YouTube video I'm going to show you how you can impute this value and get or guess the original value when you don't have access to this data set when you don't have access to the original data set you have collected records and you have some values being missing now we have actually presented or proposed or published quite a few papers on how to impute missing values and today I will show you a software that implements one of those techniques the technique was originally pre presented in the 9th Australasian data mining conference OSDM and it has uh, 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 quite some uh, citations so that's uh, the paper that's one paper and the paper an extended version of the paper was also then published in knowledge based systems and this is the title and we have some other papers as well for example this one was published in KAIS uh, which is also a missing value imputation technique but in this uh, uh, presentation today I will be presenting the paper that was published in this paper knowledge based systems and or, and also in this conference and the name of the technique is called DMI so you can actually download the freely available downloadable version of DMI um, from my web page um, 
Zahid Islam. Just Google search and then you may find my web page there. If you go to the code section, you will see there are some uh, code available there. You can download them or you can also download this directly from Weka. How to install Weka? Then you can actually go to my uh, data mining channel, Sahid Data Mining Channel, which is a YouTube channel, and there are quite a few few videos uh, that shows <coughs> that will show you how to install Weka. It's a freely available software. Now I will show you after you install Weka, so you can simply Google search Weka. You will have this uh, icon, and then if you open Weka, then you will have this Weka GUI chooser. Uh, first, in order to install our DMI software in Weka, you need to go to Tool, go to Package Manager, and then you can actually install it from there. How do you do that? You can search for it. First, you can uh, search EM Imputation. Uh, it has been already installed that em imputation that's why it's there and then you can also search dmi and when you search you will see dmi there it has also been installed so if you go installed and then uh, of course after you choose those two packages you need to click on install and they will be installed there how do we do that i have in more details in my other videos but once you have installed dmi and EM imputation then all you need to do is just restart Weka. Okay after you restart Weka you need to go to the Explorer and open a data set. So here you have seen that I have a data set uh, called data missing.arff. I will open this data set in Weka. In order to open the data set in Weka, you need to uh, go to the open file folder, open file link or tab and open the folder where this data set is located. So here is the folder where I have this data missing.arff. You can see data missing.arff. This is the file. So I'm loading that file or opening that file in Weka. Now I can see the uh, values uh, in the attributes in the data set degree salary and class as you have seen before uh, degree salary and class these are the values and there are eight plus six altogether 14 records now all i need to do is impute the missing value so here is a value that is missing this is the data set that you have collected and there is a value that you don't know about now you need to impute it so now i need to go to this filter and open the DMI there so if I go to filters and go to unsupervised filters and filters for inst instances not filter for attributes I think and then you will see there is one technique called DMI you just have installed it now that is available so choose DMI there so now you can see DMI has been chosen already and now all you need to do and you have uploaded the data set, you have chosen DMI, then all you need to do is just apply. Once you have applied, that means it has imputed the data set and now you need to save that imputed data set. Um, here at the moment, you see there is no data set called data imputation or imputed. Uh, let's call it data imputed .arff and save it. So once you have saved the data set, it has been saved. Now we need to open the folder. Here is the folder and you can see there is a new file now called data imputed.arff. You can open that again and this is your data set. Now you can compare the data set, check the data set. This was the second record of the data set and the first value is PhD whereas the second record first value was missing and the second uh, records first value originally was PhD. So you can see that our technique or this software can successfully impute the value that has been missing there. 
Now let's assume that there are more values uh, missing in the data set. Say for example, the third value of the third record is P, which is professor. Let's say that's also missing. So we can save this now. We can remove this and go back to Weka and the third value is also missing. Now because the third value was the class attribute, um, so we have to say there is no class uh, in Weka. Before we run it, then we can apply. So the data set has already been uploaded, so we don't need to upload again because the data set is there. You can apply and then save it as. So let's call overwrite the data imputation.arff and save it as data imputation.arff. So the data set has been saved and if I now open the data set, so the data set has been saved and if I now open the data set again, I can see this is my imputed data set. The third value was missing and that third records, so this is the third records, third value is P, whereas the original data sets third record third records third value was also p so this is how we can actually keep on imputing values if there are more missing values of course uh, if the whole data set is missing then it's difficult to impute but um, say for example now a numeric value is missing so this one and if you if we run the imputation again um, we have to save the file and then apply it again and then save it again imputed.rff okay we have to reopen and then we can see the original value for the first record second value was 85 and that information is missing and this is the imputed value and the imputed value is also 85 so in this example the imputation has been very accurate but that may not be the case always, right? So it will be very close. Generally, sometimes it can be not uh, as close. It's, but mostly it will be a good imputation. But you need to be aware of it that sometimes imputation can be not very accurate. So it depends on the patterns, how strong the patterns are in a data set. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching. I hope this will help. If you are interested more about how the imputation techniques work, please feel free to go to my webpage at zislam, csu csusap at csu.edu.au um, slash zislam. And you can actually go to the publication link there and you can see all these papers um, um, uh, that I have published so far. And the preprint version of most of the papers are available there. So you can find the preprint versions or if you have any question or if you want a particular paper, uh, uh, the original postprint version of the paper, do not, and you are finding it difficult to download it, please feel free to email me. Um, there is a link on my webpage as well for uh, my email address. Thanks for watching.